about 100 days away until the election, and polls are showing a very tight race between presumptive Democratic nominee Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. But the raw numbers, of course, don't determine the election outcome. As News Channel 3's Carter Landis shows us, there are many ways to break down the data. As we approach the 2024 presidential election, you'll see poll numbers from all sorts of different outlets. But those numbers don't always tell the full story, so when you see them, you'll want to take a closer look. Polling has always been an effective strategy to gauge voters ahead of elections. But in recent years, calling someone up and asking them who they're voting for has become a less efficient interpretation of the election's outlook. Pollsters have kind of figured out that they really need more of a multimodal approach. So they're relying much more on text, uh, phone, uh, email, uh, internet URL types of things, and several different ways of kind of collecting that information. When you look at poll numbers, consider a few things. Where the poll is coming from, when the poll was taken, and who was surveyed, as well as in what way. These factors can help you get some context on the raw numbers that you're seeing. Is it a demographic I care about? Is it independence? Is it swing voters? And really looking at who are the people that they're talking to. Because if they're talking to people whose minds have already been made up, it, the poll doesn't tell me a lot. With Vice President Kamala Harris only just gaining traction, it's important to look at poll numbers with some context. It's too early to have a good idea of what those numbers could look like before Harris's campaign officially kicks off. So all these different potential kind of big things that have been happening over the past month can really swing polling data a little bit. Polls aren't the determining factor of the presidential election, rather a way to predict how it could go and how campaigns could react to those numbers. Polls still carry weight, but people going to the polls determines the outcomes of elections. The poll, measuring sentiment, measuring how people are reacting, testing all of that, ultimately is what drives change within the campaign and action. Walker says the best voter is an informed voter, so remember, next time you see a poll, make sure to think twice and give it another look. In Kalamazoo, Carter Landis, News Channel 3.